This is what I love about being in a room like this today is we're all very, very much the same kind of people, I think. It's my, that's, that's my bet. We're, we're, we're business owners. We're, we have aspirations. We're all really committed to what it is we want to do, what we want to achieve. And we're probably giving it our best shot right now. And our results, are they yet where we really want them to be? I can tell you for me, that's no. Because I have pretty high aspirations. And then on that sheet, it talked about your, our goals for this year and our plans for next year. And my plans are pretty big. And I'm making progress, making progress. Like everybody, I think, here in the room, we're all after something really, really incredible. And what I want to tell you is that we're all, every one of us here, for sure, is absolutely capable of whatever it is you want to do. There is no doubt about your capability. You should not doubt that, but do we? We do. We do. The biggest obstacle between you and your results might just be you. Might just be you. It might just be what's going on in here and what's going on in here. But my point of this conversation today is really that if we can harness the incredible potential and power that we each possess, forget about your doubts for a second. Forget about your insecurities and your worries. That, those are the showstoppers, right? I'm talking about the real you. I'm talking about what's really there underneath your own perception, the real person that has incredible, incredible talent and capability to achieve just about anything you can dream of. In fact, if you read a lot of books, as I have, you'll find that the things that they talk about in these books are all very common. I mean, they're very similar. And I'm talking about whether you're talking philosophy, psychology, um, even theology, for that matter. It is that we become our thoughts. What we think about comes into our life. So we better be very, very careful about what's going on in here. So if what's going on in here is not all positive, and I suspect for everyone, I've, I've not met anybody yet who doesn't have some, some negative stuff going on in here. I've never met anybody like that. And, that. and I've never read about anybody like that either. And that includes people who have achieved incredible, incredible success by whatever measure you want. It's about if it's there, how do we overcome it? How do we get past it? Because those things are the things that are going to hold us back from getting what we really want in our life. And, you know, we're all after this, this, this different things. We're all after different things. But I think at the end of the day, it's about how we feel. It's about fulfillment. For whatever that means for you is different than what it means for me. But it's in our relationships. And as a life coach and personal success coach, I focus with people not, you know, it, yes, on their business, but also in other areas of their life that are, in, that are incredibly important because I think they all connect. Would you see a connection between your life and your relationships in your work with your health, in your work in your relationships, even with your spirituality? I mean, they all link together. The link I want to share with you today is this link here. Can everybody see that okay? So if you write anything down today, write this process down, and we're going to go through this process. Because if you've studied personal success and high potential and in any of those sorts of areas, um, you'll understand that there are a lot of what we call universal laws at work, right? Universal laws. Um, cause and effect is one of those laws, but there are many that are kind of running the show day in and day out. And we have to be aware of what those laws are and work with those laws, bring them into our favor to get what we want. 
if I were to ask you, how are results created? How do you get the results that you get right now in your life? That might be a very difficult sort of, okay, where do I start? You know, it's, uh, well, I do this, I do that, I do this, I do that. And it's a lot of, there's a lot of doing going on. I think the results that we get in our life is just about much about how we are being in our life. Okay, because we're working through other people all the time. Can anybody here achieve your results without the support of anybody else? Is that possible? No. So we are in a situation where, and that's again why I love being in a room like this, because we're all like-minded people. We're all here to grow. That's why we're here. We have a mindset that's growth-oriented and open-minded, and that's where everything starts. What's going on up here let me back, let me, let me focus here on results first. Let's back up. Let's back up. This is what shows up in your life. Results in your business, whatever. Results in your, your health, relationships. Through the law of cause and effect, results are the cause of the actions that you take. Would anybody dispute that? That when you do things, you get a result. You do something, there's a result. Action, reaction, that sort of thing. That makes sense? Okay. Well, that same action, reaction, cause and effect happens throughout this process because before you take an action, decide what action to do, it's a feeling that you get. How many of you think you're more emotion driven in your decisions to do things by emotion or by logic? Yeah, emotion, isn't it? I mean, we all have incredible uh, reasoning capacity. That's a gift that we all have as an intellectual uh, faculty of ours. But the fact is, we are driven by emotions, aren't we? I mean, everybody who advertises to us on TV, are they, how, are they, how are they hitting us? Are they coming at us with, a, with an emotional pitch? An emotional, you know, look what you can feel like, be like, right, if you drive this car. <laughs> All right. They're not giving us all the specs. It goes uh, zero to 60 in this manner, and it can go from, it can stop in, uh, you know. They're not giving us those. So we don't buy on that basis. We buy based on emotion. So feelings are what is really driving the bus, okay? Those feelings produ- get us. Now, when it comes to feelings, there are different types of feelings. I mean, the, the wide spectrum of feeling is Pleasure, pain. Pleasure, pain. Okay? If something is very pleasurable or very painful, at least the way we perceive it, we're likely to get off our duff and do something about it. Right? Something in the middle, eh, it's not that emotionally charged one way or the other. I may not do anything with that. But something that really connects with us and connects with our pursuit of pleasure or our need to avoid pain is what we're going to get into action around. Okay? Feelings. But what produces the feelings is what we're thinking about. Everything starts up here. Everything starts up here. And this thing up here has been... Well, it's been with you all your life, hasn't it? And that thing up there has been drinking in information and taking in stuff since you were, well, since you were in the womb, actually. So we get our thoughts, the things that we, we have habits. We have ha- we're creatures of habit, actually, is what we are. And we have habits around our thinking, don't we? I mean, some of them, they're not even conscious anymore. They're unconscious because that's kind of what a habit is, right? You do it so many times, you just don't even think about it. And those habits, a lot of them are good. The reason you're here today, the successes that you've had in your life up to this point and will have going forward are largely based on many of those incredibly good positive habits of thinking that you have. And then there's the other side. 
Then there's the other basket of habits that we all have. Some large, some small baskets, who knows. But it's not very empowering. And those are the ones, does anybody, you've heard that the, the whole nature and nurture, is that a familiar nature and nurture, right? So the way that our thoughts get in here is, it can happen genetically, right? Genetically, we get passed on certain predisposed, much like our physical appearance, you know, that we got grandma's nose or, you know, you know dad's hair or whatever. Um, we also, you know, some of our personality makeup is passed along to us genetically, right? So that's the start. Boom. Here we are out in the world, and that's where we're, and we, we, we have a starting point, and that's given to us. And then what happens after that? Well, if you remember, and I don't, but if you can remember back when you were a little tiny, running around. And if you look at little kids like the one that was running around here today, the little girl, you see that these children, I love it, children have courage, curiosity, playfulness, Yes? Fearless. And that, even though they get bumped around a lot in life, in their little life, right? They, when they think about the kid who's trying to walk, and they stop, and they bump, and they hit their head on something or whatever. And, but they, do they get up again? Do they, they don't even seem to remember two seconds ago that they were just crying, right? They just, they're back at it. So, but over time, guess what happens? Mom or dad or somebody comes along and tells that little, curious, fearless, playful child, "Eh, you better not do that, that you can get hurt. Something bad's going to happen. That's not safe. Those kinds of things, that's the beginning of the programming that takes place throughout our whole life. And it's those people, whether it's our parents Somebody else who's had a significant, significant influence on in our life, our parents, a teacher, a coach, uh, aunt, uncle, whoever, right? Even with the best intentions, intentions to keep us safe from harm, what's happened is they've also planted a seed in us that says, stop and think, be cautious, don't take the risk, those kinds of thoughts. I'll tell you what, I spent 30 years of my career in corporate America. Um, I don't know why. (laughs) I really don't know why. You know, I mean, tell me if this rings true to anybody. I just, you know, dad said, be an accountant. I said, "I I don't have an idea or a clue, so good, I'll be an accountant. So I was an accountant for eight years. And I got tired of that. I was like, okay, this is, you know, round peg, square hole kind of thing. I got to do something different. So I became a recruiter, which was actually quite, talk about opposites, right? Here I am and as an accountant, you know, all day long. And then now I'm a recruiter. I'm just yapping at people all day long pretty much, right? Connecting people, connecting people um, instead of connecting numbers. So, and then that played out. I got bored with that. And then I became a corporate salesperson, spent about 14 years selling to big companies, all kinds of HR-related services. And you know what happened was I realized about starting about three years ago, what the hell am I doing? I had no rhyme or reason for what I was doing. I was just sort of letting life take me along. And... I'll also share that my wife and I, um, you know, we had, so I had, well, let me say that I had that challenge in my, I, in my career, I was thinking, I've got to do something about this. I am not in the good place. I'm not reaching into my potential. I know that there is something more for me out there than what I've been doing, but I've been doing it because I guess I'm good at it and uh, it's paying the bills. What I'm here to tell you though, is that I've made a change, and I'm so happy, and I'm so thankful that you guys here in the room have taken a bet on yourselves, because that's what we're all doing. We're betting on ourselves, 
And what we need to do to make that bet pay off is to go back here and say, you know what? If I want better this, I need better this. I need to change. Change results was going to require that I change my actions. No? Is that, is that reasonable? Yeah. To change my actions, guess what I'm going to have to change? My feelings towards myself and towards what it is I need to do. Because guess what? Love this one, this common denominator of success. Get this. The P, this person, Albert Gray, wrote that the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is that successful people form the habit of doing the things that the unsuccessful people won't do and don't like doing. And the successful people, by the way, don't like doing it either. They don't. But the successful people are driven by a pursuit of a result, a pleasing result. So anything between where they are and where they want to be, they're going to tackle it. They're going to mow it down. They may not know how, but they're going to go through that, any barriers along the way. The unsuccessful people are in pursuit of a pleasing process, meaning they're going to do what's convenient and comfortable, but they won't step out of the box and out of their comfort zone and do what really needs to get done to get that result that they want. They're interested in results, but they're not truly committed to the results that they want. And that commitment is going to be coming right here. So what are you thinking about? What are you feeding your mind with every day? It better be positive. Take a look at what, listen to yourself. If I can tell you to do one thing, it's listen to you. Listen to that inner voice when it says, stop. You're not good enough, smart enough, great enough. Stop. Listen to that, and there are techniques for changing that. It's like a radio channel or TV channel that turns on, and you don't like what you see. You don't like what you hear. So the, the challenge and the opportunity for you is to create your own channel, create a better channel to listen to, one that's going to empower you and get you the results that you want. I'd love to talk to you a lot more about this, so please feel free to have a chat with me during the break or grab my business card, and we could talk about techniques that will help you improve the way you think, the way you feel, the way you act, and ultimately the results that you get. Thank you.